back here again with another video for you today. Today, the weather is turning, the storms are rolling through, so today I got five tips to protect you from hail damage and protect you and your belongings because mainly you shouldn't be outside during a hailstorm. This is mainly to cover your belongings, but this is my five tips. If you're gonna live in Cheyenne, you're gonna need to know how to dodge the wind, how to dodge a ball, how to dodge a wrench, and how to dodge hail, all right? If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge some hail. So, if you wanna know the five things that you need to do to protect your things from hail, stick around. What's up everybody, it's your boy here, Jason, again from the For Sale team here at eXp Realty, right here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And if you want to know everything about eating, working, sleeping, drinking, buying, selling, everything about Cheyenne, Wyoming, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Ring that little bell so you're always aware of when we get new videos out. And if you're interested in buying and selling, reach out. We have people reaching out every single day and we'd love to help you out too. Alrighty, number one, bang! Don't go outside. That's not number one. I just thought I had this umbrella and I thought that I would use it here. I thought it worked and I think that it did. Thoughts, questions, concerns. All right. Now, let's get into the video. But before we get into the video, let me throw that down there. We need to have a chat here, all right? There's an imposter out. It's come to my attention that there is another fine, handsome dude that goes around wearing blue polos and a white hat. His name is Andrew and he's a home buyer over in the Phoenix area. Now, Andrew, if you see this video, I've seen you I've seen your billboards, and I'm gonna tell you that this is my look, all right? So just remember that this is my look, all right? So when you guys are in the Phoenix area, just please remember, there's only one guy, blue polo, white hat. It's this guy right here, all righty? Now that I've gone to two completely, totally different things about the video, let's get into some video. All right. Now, we're gonna talk about when you know Cheyenne, Wyoming, okay? And there's just this one thing that happens here, and it's the weather, okay? And so, we talk about it all the time. In the wintertime, it's windy, and it's miserable, and it sucks, all right? But you can go inside and you can avoid it. This time of year, we're talking May, June, July, we get what's called severe thunderstorms, okay? And so, Sometimes you need to duck, cover, and run, all right? So, number one rule of thumb during these months for the severe weather, okay, is to check your local forecast, okay? Because it can roll in. Now everybody's got an iPhone. If you're in a tornado warning or whatever, it'll just scream at you, all those uh, alerts that nobody really likes, but some of you may have those turned off. So make sure always, number one, Check your weather forecast. When you're out and about hiking, biking, doing the outdoor activities that we have here in Wyoming, you always wanna make sure before you go out on a long hike or wherever you're going, that the weather is going to be okay for you to do. So that's number one, check the weather. Number two, buy a two car garage or a one car garage if, you only, if there's only one car or get a carport, protect your car. We get some very good hail up here sometimes, and it will damage your car. So like me, when I was looking at homes, I only wanted a two car garage. I wasn't gonna settle for a one car garage. It just didn't fit who we are. So we didn't even look at any one car garages. They were all two car garages. We have some three car garages, but a lot of the older homes here in Cheyenne, they only have one car. So if you have one car, that's fine. If you have two, you could do one car, but get a carport. Just something that you can go and hide your car. Now here's a tip, okay, if you don't, if you're renting in Cheyenne and you don't have any place to go, the hospital has a parking garage and the normally the fourth floor is pretty empty so that you can get in there and cover yourself. Now there's not a whole lot of room there, especially during the day. There's a lot of medical staff and people who work at the hospital. Please don't take up a lot of their parking, but you could get in there and go through and protect yourself for a little bit. There's a lot of banks in town too that you can go to 
and protect your vehicles and such like that. But I wouldn't count on running and hiding. I would count on finding something that works for you, whether it be a garage or a carport. So that is my second thing. Number three, when the hail rolls in, these salespeople like to come around and tell you you have hail damage because you had hail last night. Even if the hail is this big, they will come and tell you that, oh, you had hail yesterday, your roof is toast, you're gonna need a new roof. Stay away from those people. If they come door knocking right after a hailstorm, stay away from them. They're probably not reputable. They're just there to sell you a roof. I'm gonna get some hate from some of them in the comments, that's okay. If you are in a big hailstorm and you would like to check, reach out, especially in the Cheyenne area, we have a great roofing company. I have a great partner with a roofing company that guess what, come out and check your house for free, okay? And they don't charge you to go up there. And guess what, if you do have damage, they'll take pictures and actually show you. These guys that knock on the door, they won't. They'll go up there, they'll kick some things around, they'll mark on your roof like you have damage and you don't. Number one, stay away from those people, alrighty? Now, here's gonna be my next tip, all right? And I know it's tempting because I also am tempted to do it. However, this next tip is stay indoors, all right? When the hail starts rolling through, you do not wanna be outside. I think this is common sense, but I'm not sure, okay? You just don't know what kind of world you live in here. Those are, do, did I have five in there? I don't even remember because now I'm doing it and I'm doing it without notes. You wanna know why? Because this is who we are, this is what we do. Alrighty, let's see here. It's always important to make sure that you always have an umbrella with you too. It's not gonna help you for hail, but if it's raining, it's gonna help you for sure. I think those are my five tips. What did I, let me run back through it here. All right, I got, Check your weather, get a two car garage, stay away from the hail people. Jason, that's three of five. <laughs> All right, number four, and this is probably the biggest one, semi biggest one, stay away from windows. If the hail starts coming down, some hail is big enough and has enough power to crack your window. You make sure you don't want to be standing by your windows. If you have pets or things like that, bring them towards the center of the house. Just You just wanna make sure. I have a crack in my window, didn't have them from hail. However, hail can bust your window and you're thinking, what's on a house, it's not gonna happen. Hail can come down at an angle, bang! There goes your window, all right? Now, if you're standing there looking up at the hail, oh, psh, glass in your face. You're bleeding all over the place, and now you got a bigger problem on your hands, okay? So, stay away from interior windows. Stay away from windows. That was, my, that was number four. I'm trying to think of number five, but I can't really remember it. What I'm gonna tell you to do, okay? Oh, number five, stay indoors. I already said it. Bingo was his name out. All right, so that is the five tips. If you're gonna move to Cheyenne, Wyoming, just to know, just to stay out of the house. Now I'm gonna tell you guys too, this little tidbit before I go. It always hails right around Frontier Days. Always, no joke. Either during Frontier Days, right before Frontier Days, right before a concert goes out there, bang, you're gonna get hit, just so you know. So May, June, July, be alert, stay active, watch the weather forecasts. And again, everybody, Hope this provides some little insight. You should know how to act during severe storms, but if you don't, here's a video for you. So, as always guys, thank you, have a great day, and if you need us, reach out. Thanks. Yeehaw!